Why the foundations of physics have not progressed for 40 years. Why isn't fundamental physics making great progress? When did fundamental physics progress go from a serious quest for truth to a financial racket? Physics has done very little for like 70 years, and it's disappointing. I think people need to think outside the box more. The last progress made in fundamental and theoretical physics, understanding progress as successfully verified and confirmed theories or models, can be traced back to Peter Higgs' prediction in the 60s and the development of the foundations of quantum chromodynamics in the 70s. The elaborations on the standard model, which is our specific understanding of the world in which we live, uh, has been all but stalled uh, from the theory side since around 1973-1974. The year in 1973 is claimed to be the date when progress in theoretical physics stalled, the year in which asymptotic freedom was proposed. This long-lasting lack of progress in theoretical physics has not happened in the history of physics since at least the 18th century. So you're in the top 10 list right now, top 10 physics things in the last 70 years. Other areas of physics, such as experimental or applied physics, has continued to make progress since then. This is what Angela Collier refers to when trying to refute the claims that physics has done nothing in the past 50 years. She lists 10 major achievements in experimental physics, such as detecting gravitational waves, taking a picture of a black hole and detecting the Higgs boson, and applied physics, such as MRIs, lasers, achieving Bose-Einstein condensates and superconductors. But all these breakthroughs rely on physics theories and models developed before 1973. I get it, okay. I understand that when someone says physics has not done anything in 70 years, they're not actually saying physics hasn't done anything in 70 years. They are saying, I have not lived through a giant paradigm shift in physics. The standard model must be a failure because it doesn't have gravity. Physics hasn't done anything because there hasn't been like an Einstein relativity moment in my lifetime. I want a theory of everything. Why haven't you given it to me? I want it. The fact that we currently do not have a theory of everything or a theory of quantum gravity is not the reason why people claim that theoretical physics, and not just particle physics, has done nothing since 1973, such as Eric Weinstein states. We've okay. been stalled out for almost 50 years in theoretical physics. It's the fact that all the fundamental questions in physics of the 70s still remain unsolved. Thus, the same problems the theoretical physics community is trying to solve today, such as dark matter, the horizon problem, grand unification, the collapse of the wave function, the Born rule, quantum interpretations, the value of particle masses in the standard model, the UV Lando pole, the baryon asymmetry, hierarchy problems, etc were the ones trying to be solved half a century ago. Together with new problems that have appeared thanks to the progress of experimental physics, such as dark energy, neutrino masses, supermassive black hole formation, the Hubble tension, etc. The theoretical physics community has not stopped coming up with new hypotheses since the 70s, such as cosmic inflation, Hawking radiation and black hole entropy, string theory, loop quantum gravity, dark matter particles, supersymmetry, proton decay, WIMPs, axions, sterile neutrinos, primordial black holes, MOND, interpretations of quantum mechanics, etc. But none of them have been experimentally verified. This is clearly portrayed in the fact that no Nobel Prize in physics has been awarded for theoretical developments done after the 70s. Even though there have never been so many theoretical physicists working at the same time and so many ways to accelerate research among them, such as global communication. But the question is, why is this the case? Why are there no breakthroughs in theoretical physics anymore? One could argue that we currently cannot test these new hypotheses because of a lack of precision in measurements or not been able to reach particular high energies, but this is not true because there are already observations performed which contradict our models without the need for more precision or higher energies and have no explanation, such as dark matter and dark energy, neutrino masses, the horizon problem, the Hubble tension, etc. 
Also, some predictions might take more than 50 years to be verified. But this does not justify that none of the predictions in the last 50 years have been verified. You can't be a physicist working by yourself. Like People definitely still publish single author papers, but it's much more rare. And it's much more common for big papers with big results to have many people on them. Newton developed his law of gravitation in self-quarantine from the Great Plague. Einstein his theory of special relativity while working in a patent office outside university. Schwarzschild his solution of Einstein's field equations in the Russian front during the First World War. Schrödinger his wave equation in a remote mountain cabin on a ski holiday. Peter Hicks the prediction of the Hicks Bonson after returning to his Edinburgh apartment from a failed weekend camping trip to the Highlands. Many more breakthroughs in the theoretical physics, such as Maxwell's equations, Noether's theorems, de Broglie's wave electrons, Friedman's equations, Born's rule, Max Planck constant, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, Pauli's prediction of neutrinos, Derek's prediction of positrons, Bell's theorems, and Weinberg's unification of the weak and electromagnetic interactions, were single author publications with no co authors. Other research that, even though have not been verified, profoundly influenced theoretical physics such as Hawkins' black hole radiation, Beckenstein's entropy for black hole and the, the ADS-CFT correspondence have also been single author papers. Why were almost all breakthroughs in fundamental and theoretical physics single author papers when there were also publications of several authors? Is it just a coincidence? All these authors maintained contact with other fellow physicists during their research breakthroughs, but it is a fact that their achievements can be granted to their own individual ideas and desires to go beyond the established physics in the community. Today, research in theoretical physics is mostly done in teams or groups at universities, in which they follow research lines that are chosen to be funded by others. Funding allocation biases slows down research in fruitful ideas, And new researchers are forced to join these projects in order to continue at university. Who can decide better what to focus research on, if not the researchers themselves? Universities often set limits to individual desires to pursue scientific knowledge by increasing pressure to publish and get cited in order to be promoted internally, which does not result in progress in science. Is this the reason why there has been no progress in theoretical physics since the 1970s? Is giving individual freedom of research while improving communication of research ideas the solution to the crisis in fundamental physics? Methods, philosophy and history of science is not taught in universities. How can we know how to do physics correctly if we don't know what has worked and what hasn't in the past? How can we change the way of doing physics in order to achieve different results if we don't know what has changed in the past decades? How do researchers successfully choose which hypotheses are more promising and which research ideas to pursue if no criteria on which of them are better is known?